on behaviourist from progression and I'm going to do a little bit on why I use um, food in dog training. Um, just because um, I'm a reward trainer doesn't obviously mean that I just use food. I will use kind of whatever motivates the dog. Um, I want the dog to be happy about what they're doing. So I do kind of use food mainly. However, if a dog um, is on um, special dietary um, requirements or anything like that, I can use play, toys, um, access to things, whatever kind of motivates that dog. So I will use whatever they love as a reward. But as I say, probably 90% of the time we use food. Um, and I will have a lot of owners say to me that they, um, their dog doesn't like food. So their dog doesn't take treats. Um, and obviously we have to look at the environment as well. So maybe if the dog is stressed, we know they won't take food um, because their appetite's been suppressed. So obviously once we've taken that out, we've made sure that the dog is happy and comfortable and wanting to work, you'll find that we will be able to find something that motivates a dog, whether that be food or a toy or, or just in more um, praise, anything that that dog kind of wants. But what I tend to say to owners as well, is find out what your dog likes. So we're very quick to say, oh, my dog doesn't like food, um, but we might be just giving them kind of boring kibble. And that's like someone kind of telling me to eat my broccoli. If I do really, really well in this, I'm gonna get a, a stem of broccoli. <laughs> so it's not gonna motivate me. Um, so I do a little kind of sensory palette mix. <laughs> And it's just so that I can see what my dog likes. So I've got some banana, I've got some cream cheese, um, I've got some peanut butter, I've got some strawberries, I've got some mango that's been pureed because I can use the puree um, sachets on training. And I've got just normal kibble. So not only have I kind of got different tastes, I've got different textures, um, I've got different um, colours and stuff like that. Um, and I've used it actually on the back of the lick mat so it's, it'll wipe off all nice and clean, a dual purpose there. Um, but I wanted to um, make it clear that you need to find out what your dog likes and the only way you're going to be doing that is by making them um, and trying little bits of food, making them kind of explore new foods. My dog's waiting patiently um, next to me and he will love everything on this. He's a Labrador. He will, um, if I let him, he'd probably eat the lick mat. And so <laughs> we've got to be careful as well that whatever we're doing with our dogs, we supervise them. We make sure that the food that is something they can have, so it's not poisonous, we're not putting grapes on here, or raisins or anything like that, or chocolate. And um, no chocolate spread, guys, no chocolate spread. And um, we just want to kind of get him used to trying different things and you'll find what they kind of gravitate to, to what they'll like. Um, my dog will probably come in like a bulldozer and I'm gonna let him go in a minute. But some dogs actually take their time and they will smell each individual thing um, and then they'll go to the thing that they like. And if we do this kind of regularly with new little bits, just like you would a baby, um, you'll find that your dog will start to kind of go, oh, okay, I like that, um, I'll eat that, but I wasn't too keen on that and I'll eat that. And, um, and it's really nice to see how their minds work and what they gravitate to and what they maybe leave to last. So it'll be interesting with Woody what he'll do. Um, you can see his paws creeping into the screen slowly. Um, so I will, um, I'm going to let him go. Um, so carry on following the Facebook page guys for um, daily advice, daily tips and stuff. And obviously join the group. Um, it's a lovely community now where we're sharing things. And obviously you get access to training advice from myself. Um, right, should we give it a go? Okay, come on in Woods. Come on get in. <laughs> oh, he's actually being quite cautious. Come on in, what do you see? Go on in. Oh, he's gone straight for his kibble. Very surprising. And um, it's probably because that's what he's allowed. Go on then. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we like a bit of the cream cheese. I'm actually shocked at how slow he's going. Good boy, what is he? Nice. He does have a very good leap, so that could be um, why he's a bit kind of dubious. He doesn't know whether he's allowed to do something like this. Come on, what's the Go on then. Oh, good boy. Oh yes, we like the peanut butter, that's going well. Good boy, well done. Oh, if 
find them all on the floor. You stick that one in. Good boy, I must see. He really, really likes the stuff he's got a lick. Um, it's actually quite surprising. Oh yes, nice bit of banana. Good boy, well done. But it's taken him longer to eat the banana. <laughs> Good lad, well done. Is that nice? So I'm just gonna turn it around. Yeah, he's gone straight back for the banana. We've got mango and strawberries to go. Let's see what he does. Oh, nice work. He really likes the peanut butter. He's, he's cleaned the lick mat. Is that a strawberry? But now he's on the mango. Well, under the commentary. Good boy. And he's left the strawberries to last. Good boy. Okay, so not surprising, he's at the lot. <laughs> But it was so lovely to see how he um, how he kind of interpreted the map. He um, he wasn't sure. Bless him. He's a good boy. He doesn't touch any food that's um, ever laid around. He's very very good. Um, but he went for all the liquidy things um, first. He left the mango to, um, to one of the last, probably because it's got one of the strongest smells. Um, and then he's obviously at the banana. <laughs> he's going to eat the whole set now. <laughs> He's found um, bits that are on the floor. <laughs> Good boy, well done. Hopefully next video we'll teach him how to wash up. And joking guys, have a good day, bye.